I made this. This lady's talking to this other lady to see where her partner, the, the, loca the local window cleaner of Middlebeck. <laughs> He's gathered a crowd already, huh? Oh my god. He's like a people magnet, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Poland blades. What the oh, hell? Oh, fancy bumping into you in Belgium. Well, that actually, moment of all places. We just, we just bumped into each other yesterday. We spent 15 hours together in the van. We did. <laughs> in our long travel A five, here. A five hour journey ended up being a 15 hour journey. How you doing? Hi, Lee. Fine. So, um, you have Bob here. Yeah. Tell us about the relationship with you and Bob and how you guys got together. Well, it's a, it's a funny story, actually. Uh, um, one day I come into the office and uh, our, our sales representative for the UK um, shows me this email of a certain Mr. Paulsen Blades <laughs> that tested our rubber, our Mormon, our, our ProClean uh, rubber. And he was not too happy uh, about it. So I got your rubbers and I put it in a different brand of channel and I was not getting the desired effect that I wanted. So I, I made this video and I was just com complaining and I sent the email to you as well and I put the link in the email mm -hmm. for you to see. And um, that was how we got together. And in this link, there were a few very interesting ideas, according to me, a few uh, homemade modifications, uh, which I thought was were more than interesting. They were just fascinating. Okay, and um, I think we on the phone call we had, we yeah. said, "What have I got these squeegees that nobody else has got, which I made in my garage? What can you do to improve on this?" Exactly, and. Um, 640 emails later. <laughs> no way! Really? Yeah. 640 emails later. Was they later. all from uh, Bob? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have more than uh, Bob to thank for this. Yeah. I have uh, a lot of other uh, high end, top line professionals like Paul, like Mike, like Stephen, your other, some other friends, Richard as well. Uh, you know, a whole crowd that has been working co together on this. You as well, Lee. Uh, maybe at a slightly later stage, um, but uh, anyway, a few months later, and this 640 emails later, <laughs> we got uh, the liquidator um, ready to be launched on the market. What we're going to do is we've got a, a normal squeegee, a little bit shorter than the liquidator, and Guy, who is not a professional window cleaner, is going to clean this glass, and we're going to see the difference between a, a standard squeegee and a liquidator. Right, I'll do my best. Not so that, that's a good that's a good result for yeah. a novice. But it doesn't matter how good you are with a standard squeegee, you're always gonna get this. Yeah. Residue. So I, I would have to detail this, right? You'd have to detail yeah. it. I would have to get out my rag. And you, it would and, take and your time to go, right, if it was, this hot, if it was a real job, look how high that window is. Yeah, here as well. Yep. And the bottom as well. Yeah, so. Okay. 
So put the Let's window. Again. And we've got a longer squeegee, so we've got less control at the ends. This is the liquidator. This is the liquidator, yeah. The one and only. All right, there we go. So even for novice, this makes their work a lot easier to do. Cuts down the time. All right. So now the, the edge is all dried. Yeah. Impeccable. And there's no detailing work to do. And the bottom uh, as well. We just need to dry the seal. Yes. Which well, you'd always have to do the seal, right? This is our new cradle, Ease. So Moorman has a promise to professional window cleaners. From now on, all the tools that we're gonna launch in the market, they will correspond to the Ease cradle. What does it mean, Ease? We're talking about efficiency, right? We want you guys to spend less time on a window as you are doing today, right? Next letter, A, amazing results. We want you guys to have crystal clear windows as you always as you want and as you do today. S, safety. We, don't, we want to avoid uh, you guys taking risks. We're gonna help you developing new tools that are safer to use and that are safer, uh, creating a safer environment as well. And last but not least, we're gonna make ergonomic tools that won't cause strain after long use because you're out in the field all day and you don't want to get home with sore elbows, sore wrists, sore knees, whatever. Ergonomics, crucial as well. Hey, Bob. Hey, how you doing? You're right. how you doing? I just want to go over rubber seals. Every window, every Brenner window, has a different type of rubber seal. Some seals, if you come in close here, Lee, for a sec. This seal here is a wafer-thin, paper-thin rubber seal. Very easy, even for the most precision-type tool, to easily ride over if not taking enough care and attention. So sometimes the tool and the user will need to work a little bit closer with each other. So yeah. for example, we're going over and we're gonna do the motion here. As you see, that this tool has took all the water off the glass, but there's still water on the actual rubber, but the glass is actually clean and any standard tool will easily go over this. It's wafer thin, it's, mm. it's like paper thin. So if you're using this tool and you're aware that some seals are harder to work on than others, um, you just have to become one with the tool. Yeah. And it does take several days or maybe a few weeks to really understand how the tool works. What's unique about the liquidator? Bob? What's unique about it? Well, it is, a, it does everything, everything that a squeegee will do, yeah. plus all the extra bits that a normal squeegee will leave out. So I would say, on average, a squeegee, an average squeegee will get 80% of the water off. So the clips on the end of the channel are designed to... Hug, hug yeah. the frame. Yeah, and therefore you're not uh, detailing as much, right? Yeah, if you're spending all your time with the cloth, detailing your, your edges, especially on these very awkward, thin rubber seals. That's taking five, 10 minutes per hour out of cleaning the windows. If you could get a tool that can do 100% of the work and then just get your seal cloth to just finish off the, the, the runs on the frame, mm. you're gonna get your job done quicker, maybe 10, 15% extra. If we just take this off and we'll go on the inside of this door, it is a different type of rubber seal. But this rubber seal here is a vertical seal and we don't have to take now as much time and effort because we, as a window cleaner, we initially know that this is not gonna cause us too much problem. But it is still a rubber seal. 
we can go a little bit faster and know that it's always going to catch that vertical sill. So I'll show you, Lee, a bit of the evolution of our um, liquidator. Um, if you can check out my screen, um, this is the piece we started with. Okay, the shape, you know, the devil's in the details, as I said before. And then on the right screen, this is the um, is the shape we ended up with. It doesn't really look different, but believe me, it's the very slightest different. thickness. Oh yes, oh yes, we really plastic. got this down to a T. Yeah. And we went. How do we go about this? Is to um, is to um, w what we start with is we make a design. Okay, we listen to Bob in this case, and um, we start drawing something. Okay, and match it to a homemade uh, prototype or whatever. Then we draw it into a 3D drawing, such as this one, and then we print it into uh, rapid prototyping uh, material, which we'll uh, we'll see later on, and and then we go about testing and adapting. And you can see here on my screen, these are actually three versions and the colors are indicating the adaptation we have made. So this, is, this visual kind of way of working makes it very easy for me to communicate with Bob, to communicate with the mold maker, to communicate with our designer. Okay? To get it right. To get it right. But then to make very sure that we do get it absolutely right. And the way to do that is to, um, to have prototypes in uh, 3D printing, right? You know the additive manufacturing uh, technology? Yeah. So this is what we did. In fact, we made a whole series of plenty of variations on, on, this, on this one shape. Some of the examples are over here. Um, these are all different, different shapes, right? And we, we put a code on them. We call it the B5 or the C2 or whatever. And we vary one element per series. So for instance, in the C series, going from one to five, the angle of this will change. Or in the B series, the angle of, of this surface will and change. the point of doing that? Was the point of doing that is, if you start changing everything uh, together, it's impossible to determine which Works best. topic or which uh, uh, detail um, is responsible for the better or worse mm. result, mm. okay? so. When we got our final um, selection, uh, we sampled it out. It was this one. This one, we sampled it out in different sizes of channels. And this, at this point, we sent it over uh, to about uh, four um, high-end professionals. One of them was Bob, Steve, uh, Mike, and, and, and Richard, and Paul as well. Yeah. And, uh, and they got their, uh, they tested it. And, now this becomes very, very interesting for me because uh, until then I have been sitting behind a desk uh, thinking of, uh, in theory um, about how this will be done and, um, and then this is like the, the, the acid test. Yeah. Right. This is another type of thin sill but again it's a little bit of a different angle sill and um, I'm just going to show you a different type of sill once you're aware of there is different types of rubber seals which can be problematic. If you pan up, Lee, you see that there is some water on the rubber, but the glass, which is the important part, is completely dry, even up to the corners. And that is a difficult rubber seal to work on. Even the seal. <laughs> 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 These are old aluminium type frames and the rubber seal has now perished away. So it's a little bit rough and a little bit ragged on the edge. But this tool will still handle the roughest or smoothest of edges. You pan in in a secondly. There is nothing on the glass to be cleaned up.
of the shop on the corner. So, uh, we need that. But it's the window cleaner, you are right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So the we've seen the window cleaner and we're going to ask him if he wants to have a go this the, the local window cleaner. We just spotted the band just literally now. And we've doubled back to check it wasn't going to be the We saw the ladders. And we saw the pointers on the top. So we're now trying to find the window cleaner. That's close. Ja, het is, ja, het is een nieuwe channel in feite. Ja, je ligt hier in de auto, maar ja. um, uh, volgende week keer, ja, dat ze zeggen van laat het ons een keer uh, proberen door de local um, ja. window washer. So what we do now? This lady is talking to this other lady to see where her partner, the, we can find the window cleaner. locate the local window cleaner <laughs> of Mulebeck, <laughs> and we're going to see if he can come to the office and try out the liquidator. He's going to think this is such a weird call. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is this? Found John. found John, the elusive window cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got this tool for the very first time, right? Yes. How are you finding it? Very good. Yes? Why do you like it? What's good about it? The side. You don't have to wipe it with the... You know, yeah. It's a it. You don't have any more... Uh, Edge. Detailing. We call it detailing. Yes. With the would you buy this tool? Yes. How many are you going to buy? <laughs> <laughs> I have some in the van. <laughs> is this going to save you any time on your work? Yes. Well, your English is a lot better than my Belgian. Don't get me wrong, this seems like a very easy piece, uh, but the molding is high precision molding, uh, plastic injection molding. Um, the type of plastic we're using is a high impact uh, uh, polypropylene, which is um, totally resistant to any kind of chemical, but is also quite a drop, you know, impact resistant. So it, it won't break if you ac drop accidentally um, drop it. Well, it always hurts uh, my soul if I drop <laughs> A tool, but since you asked that kindly, I'll just do it. Okay, there we go. Of course, the rubber shifted, but the end clip is just fine. Hmm. Nothing wrong with it. Tell me about the rubber. Okay. You can't put a regular rubber in there, squared off the rubber, can you? Of course. Um, okay. Earlier on, Bob has. Um, we spoke about um, the ideal. Um, the ideal size match between the channel and the rubber and there is a certain uh, stick out rubber stick out which is correct in our rubber this is what we feel that this is the best uh, um, um, overshoot um, th this will work better than any this, other this, this, show a if you, this is a different example look at the, the lip the, the, the difference in the lips 
okay? This against this, the channel is different, the rubber is different size as well. The lip determines how easy the glide will be. Yeah, so probably on this, on this squidgy, you will, you will, you have to push harder, right? You have to put a lot more pressure yeah. on uh, a squeegee with less tongue hanging out. So Lee, about this rubber, um, we have, we have pre-cut um, the rubber at the sides uh, for it to match the liquidator exactly. Some of you guys will like to do this uh, themselves. Um, but uh, you buying, mean, buying, you mean cut it flush to the clip. Yes, yes, flush is the right way to do it. Um, however, uh, we we have done it for you, and you can just buy the replacement rubbers uh, in any high quality store uh, as you would. Okay, so this is all pre-cut, ready to go, and it will be sold uh, in the channel, ready to pop onto the grip, and off you go, go and earn money. building and these windows are brand new there's one problem there's a little slight imperfection if you come around this way Lee you can see there's a little slight imperfection on this rubber seal and as long as you're careful this tool will still come in Lee there's still no water even though it jumped I knew it was there I could see it so I just Handled the squeegee. How does the squeegee work? Why, why does it stop the water? Okay. The reason why it stops the water is because the, the rubber length is exactly the same each side. And as you can see, it's flush. So when it hits the side, it's always catching at the right point. Oh, Whereas, what about the angle of the clip? Is that, how important is that? Well, the angles are sort of angled like this. They're designed on purpose to push the squeegee rubber down. And, and, and focus in the most important part of the side of the window and the most important part of the squeegee to contact that side of the glass yeah. is the end. These are wooden windows and we've got some rough edges, bits of paint spilling over. and the liquidator coats very well. You can go quite fast on this window because it coats very well with these kinds of frames. You want a pan in, Lee? Sorted. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have any friends in life. Am I, am I your first friend? Yeah, these are friends too. <laughs> <laughs>